Hey guys, what's up? So I want to work on the login. So right now, if I log in test at test.com, test, um, we log in all well, we see our username, but if we refresh the page, oh no, our login's gone. What the heck? This should be persisting. Um, so I want to work on showing you how to persist it. Now, how it's being persisted is we're actually saving a feathers token in local storage. So if you go to application, local, we'll see these feathers, JWT, and this is like a little token, which can be used instead of your username and password to authenticate. So they don't have to log in every time. So we're going to use that and pass it to authenticate. So we'll do this in the index cage because we want to do this on every page. We want to make sure they're authenticated or check whether they are authenticated or not. So first we're going to pass in the app from local storage or not from local storage from the store um, I'm going to do app.authenticate if it's successful we want to add the user to our state and then render the page so to add it to the state we're going to dispatch an action this action we're going to have to create auth good passing in the user so let's add that import auth good this is going to be from our action creators we'll add that next and then we're also going to check to see if there's an error or if they're not authenticated which we actually don't need to do anything else besides just render the page because we're assuming they're not logged in to begin with okay so this is set up nicely here Let's go into store before we set up our action. I misspelled store right here. It should be storage. And this should be an uppercase S. There we go. Now let's go into our action and create off good. So off good. And that's going to take a user. So uh, good user and then we're going to add a reducer to handle that we're not going to add a reducer we're actually just going to update this one so case off uh, good we're just going to add the user action dot user to the state now let's check that out so I tried to authenticate and because I just logged in it had my token and it went ahead and saved it. So if I refresh the page again, oops, refresh the page again, it'll be there. Um, but if I log out, it's gone forever. If we log back in, test.com, and we will refresh. Oh, are we getting there? Nope. Okay, so that is nicely set up. The next thing I want to show you guys is how to um, restrict access. So we're going to create a component that actually restricts access to different um, places. So for example, if I only want signed in users to add recipes, um, we can do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to create an auth component. And we can do this now because we actually are keeping track of whether the user is logged in or not. So react from react. What we're going to be creating is kind of like a class and a function that returns a class. And we're just going to like wrap um, different routes in it. So like this route will need authentication this route will not. So we can just easily add authentication where we need it. And this should be React Router. <clears throat> so we're going to export a function called require authentication. It's going to take a component and we have a class in here authenticated component extends React, uh, and we can 
uh, proponent. Oops. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is do component will mount. So basically, we just want to check for authentication at a couple places. We'll do check off. And we will do component now will mount will receive props next props this dot check off and then we'll actually create our check off function if not this dot props dot user dot has a property will redirect to the login page. And we also want to take account what page they're on now. So that way we can redirect them to this page after they log in. So browser history dot push and let's back ticket. Login next is equal to our redirect after login. And we'll add the logic to make that work in a second. So basically at every point, we're just going to check if the user is logged in. If they're not logged in, then we redirect them because they're on an authenticated page and they shouldn't be. So now we're going to render um, return div. props.user. has no property. We're basically just going to check again. Then we're going to do the component, passing in the props. Else. So our authentication is set up. There's just one last thing we need to put at the bottom here. I do const map state to props, and we don't actually need to do anything here. And we're gonna return connect map state to props authenticated component. Okay, very nice. Now we can use this auth in our index. So in our index, we'll require authentication. So import require authentication from components auth. Now, whatever component we would like to be require authentication, we just wrap in a function. So I would like add a recipe to require authentication. So all I have to do, require authentication. That's it. So now let's test that out. I'm logged in right now. Can I add a recipe? Yep, yeah, it works just fine. But let's try logging out, add a recipe. Oh look, it redirects me to login. Perfect. Now notice it has up here, um, next is equal to recipes slash add. We can actually, right now if I log in, test.com, it actually redirects me to the home page. But what I would like that to do is redirect me back to add recipe because I was on that page and I was just logged in. I just need to log in first. So what we can do is we can actually implement this in our login page. So component, login page. Okay, so now in here, it'll be right here. So right here, we want to look at, we're going to pass into our login. So we're going to actually change our action as well um, as this component. And what we're going to check in this component is just make sure that, check if there is a next. If there's not a next, 
then we just want to redirect them to the home page. But if there is an X, then we want to direct them to that specific page that they wanted to. So this.props.location.query.next. This will get us whether there's an X. If there's not, just return an empty string. Okay, now let's change our action. Um, the action we're looking for is login. So just next. And then the last thing we need to do is just edit our saga. So it'll be right here. So we're passing in action.next. So we'll just say action.next. <clears throat> so let's try that now. So let's log out. Let's try to access that recipe page. Doesn't let me. Redirects me to login. Then I log in. And sure enough, it redirects me back to add recipe. Perfect. That's exactly what I want. So I think that's pretty good. It's looking nice. I like where the application has come. We're really, really close to being done. There's just one last thing I want to add is cleaning up the back end a little bit, making sure we're giving good um, data to it. Um, if we just send an empty object, it'll take it, and I don't think the back end should take that. So we'll fix that. And then I also want to create, I want to be able to click on my test and just see the recipes that I've made. Because theoretically, there could be several different types of users. So we'll work on that in the next video.